Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy, Protect Sports from the Protect Sports Network. And I'm back, back, back with another video. What's going on with y'all, man? If I can talk about it, God. I'm God right, to right now, man. I'm thanking God for another day. Another day for him to make a way for, him, for us to all make another play. And I hope God's blessing you and opening up doors and paving new ways. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today's video, y'all, rock it. We talking Washington Commanders position talk. We're about to command that position. And today's command that position is on the quarterback position. Uh, I'm actually going to put the command that position in, in the description. It probably won't be the name of the actual segment. But we're commanding the quarterback position today. We will tell you who makes the roster, uh, strengths and weaknesses about each quarterback on the roster right now. And I'm going to give you guys a guy. I'm going to give you guys that are going to make the team. So we're going to get smack into it. You hit me, though. So I'm on ESPN's website, and this is the depth chart currently right now. We know Carson Wentz is a starter. We know what Carson Wentz is. Uh, he had 3,500 passing yards last year, 27 touchdowns, seven picks on 62% completion percentage last year, throwing the football. And, you know, we I heard the argument, oh, he had JT, Jonathan Taylor. Oh, he had this great run game. Da -da 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 -da. He had one receiver to throw the ball to and one legit tight end. And JT to throw the ball to. I don't he didn't really have much to throw the ball to, so. Uh, I think here, I think Wentz would definitely thrive here. He definitely should be the starter and completely is entrenched as rightfully so. He's the most talented quarterback on the roster. He's the most veteran later quarterback on the roster. And also he has the highest ceiling of anyone on this roster right now as we currently, what currently is constituted. We'll see how other guys develop and things like that. We'll talk about guys later on. They're further down the depth chart. But Carson Wentz is definitely going to make this roster. He's going to definitely be the entrenched starter. And we'll see how he does this year and what he will be able to do moving forward if he does well this year. Next, we have uh, the second string quarterback currently, and it's Taylor Heineke. Uh, Taylor Heineke has a lot of things you do like about him. I like his moxie. I like his attitude. Uh, I like his reckless abandon as a quarterback. Uh, he takes every play like it's his last play. But we know the ceiling with Taylor. Taylor's no starter in this league. We saw him 17 games last year. Well, 16 and a half, because you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick did get hurt. But we saw almost 17 games of this young man, and he doesn't show anything to make me think that he'll be the future of the, of the quarterback position. So he's a great backup to have and a guy that could come in if Wentz ever got hurt, knock on wood, and he can get the job done. Also, being a fan like Ron Heineke is he's very mobile as well. So the mobility of Taylor Heineke can get him out of trouble a lot of times. But these are weaknesses of Taylor Heineke's game. He does not see the field well a lot of times. Uh, he doesn't really go past his first read enough for me. And he has way too many ill turnovers. He did have 15 interceptions and also two fumbles last year. So he had 17 turnovers. And he only threw 20 touchdowns and ran for two touchdowns. So that's almost a one-to-one -one ratio combined with turnovers and touchdowns. It's not really that great in the National Football League, and this is why he is a backup quarterback at this level, and he's a really quality backup. And the question is, though, he's on his last year of his contract too, so would you move Taylor Heineke and try to get something for him before his contract does run out and he probably walks and becomes a backup somewhere else or even a positive starter somewhere else? You know, I don't think he should be a starter anywhere else, but, you know, it is what it is. But – I think that Heineke will probably be the backup quarterback this year, to be honest with you. But there is one person who could take that backup spot from him, and that's the next guy we're going to talk about in fifth-round selection in the 2022 NFL draft in Sam Howe. So Sam Howe was a fifth-round pick in the draft. He was the 144th pick in the draft, come out of North Carolina. He was projected mid to late second rounder, and he fell all into the fifth round for some crazy reason. Uh, Howe has a great upside. The kid has a huge arm. He's super mobile. Uh, he sees the field well for his age. Uh, he could definitely be better at that as he gets older and gets more acclimated to the NFL game. But he sees the field well enough uh, to actually get a little bit of game action every now and then for right now. I don't think he's a full-time starter. He's far away from that right now. But he could be a guy that maybe a year or two down the line if Wentz does not work out, and you know, you might have Heineke back for a, a placeholder year or something like that, he could be in two years ready to go and be the entrenched starter here in two years if Wentz does not work out. Now, 
I think that how has a way higher upside than Heineke does, but he has a way lower floor. So I do think for right now he will be the third string quarterback until we see him develop. If he develops faster than I think he can, man, he definitely could take that job from Taylor Heineke. It'd be one of my camp bouts to watch as we move into training camp. Next, uh, it's Cole Kelly, 6'7 guy, undrafted guy. I don't know too much about Cole Kelly, but yeah, I, I saw he had a huge rock of an arm. Dude's 6'7, he's huge. He has all the physical attributes you like of a quarterback, but he just seems extremely raw and someone that you just stash on a practice squad and, you know, stash, stash for later. I think he could be a backup quarterback at this level, but nothing more. So maybe he could be Sam Howell's backup in two, three years um, as these two guys on the back end of the roster continue to develop. And if the older guys at the top of the roster either falter and wins or, you know, they get traded and a guy like Taylor Heineke or walks next year, these guys can develop and become, you know, guys on the depth chart and be more important places on the depth chart. So I think at the end of the day, if three guys want to make the team are – Carson Wentz, of course. Taylor Heineke will probably make this team unless he's traded, which I highly doubt. But maybe a team that gets a quarterback injury in training camp looks at Heineke for a fifth rounder or something and says, all right, look, man, we need a guy to place hold until, you know, our guy gets back or, God, God forbid, like a team like the Browns. They don't have Deshaun Watson. They don't have a guy like Baker Mayfield. They're going to trade him away. And let's say Jacoby Brissett got hurt. You're going to call the commanders about a guy like Heineke because we see he can play at this level. At times, play at a high level. I'm going to give him credit for that. And a guy who can manage the game if you have a run game. So I think the, the team like the Browns might be looking at him, Jacoby Brissett, something happened to him, knock on wood. A team maybe like Carolina could look at Heineke. He's been in Carolina before. And also, like I said, Matt Corral isn't developing fast enough. They can't get Jimmy Garoppolo or they can't get Baker Mayfield. But that's a guy, that's a team that could be looking at him as well. But even the Seattle Seahawks as well, I know they're putting a whole Drew Locke, uh, Geno Smith competition out there that's going to make someone, that's going to thread the needle for someone, something like that. But God forbid if one of them get hurt, knock on wood, then a guy like Taylor Heineke could be, in the in the cards for them because they're not gonna pay twenty five million dollars for a quarter like Jimmy Garoppolo for I could have just kept Russell Wilson and Brent for that. And they probably would they probably would trade for Baker for a trade for Taylor. But if Baker's already a Panther, then the only option they have left that is at a reasonable price salary cap wise and probably draft compensation wise is a guy like Taylor Heineke. So keep that in mind. He might get traded. I don't think he would uh, but, you know, just keep that in mind if it, if an injury were to happen and they call the commands about Heineke and they move him. So about think that he should make this team and be the backup behind Wentz, and then the first string will be the guy be inactive will probably be Sam Howell. So that was all my three guys, Carson Wentz, Heineke Howell, and then Cole Kelly will be the practice squad quarterback, the emergency quarterback just in case if something happened like a COVID outbreak or something of that nature would happen. So this is my first uh, position analysis, and it's only quarterback position. And those are the guys that I make in the roster. These are the way I think about these four guys. And what are your thoughts on these four guys in the comments section down below? Who are your who are your three guys that make the roster? And do you think Taylor Heineke gets moved if a quarterback injury were to happen? Knock on wood. Until then, man, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new, turn on notifications. Always get the protest sports through the protest sports network. You guys put God for safe this COVID. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and blessings. Have a wonderful weekend and wonderful next week. Until next time, God be safe, stay dangerous. Catch you next time.